Hello students. So in this video today, I'm going to discuss with you all is the formation of the pressure belts. Okay, how the pressure belts are going to, you know, other pressure belts are formed, all those things, the reasons behind the formation of pressure belts, all those things we are going to discuss here in this video. Now, pressure belts, uh, broadly, the pressure belts has been categorized into two types. One is the pressure belts formed due to the temperature okay and difference in temperature and another one the pressure belts which has been formed due to the dynamic reasons okay now the reason behind the temperature or the you know the pressure belts formed uh, the temperature is the insulation okay the heat which we receive from the sun and the uh, reason behind the dynamic pressure belts is the rotation okay now basically the pressure belts are only of two types there is the high pressure belts okay and the low pressure belts now there are different pressure belts which are present on the earth's surface globally so that we are going to discuss so on the basis of you know the high and low pressure belts four different uh, uh, pressure belts are present or the pressure systems are formed on the earth surface okay so first we are going to discuss is the formation of equatorial low pressure belt okay which comes under the category of temperate pressure belt or the temperature pressure belt another category is also there under under this uh, under another pressure system is also there under this category that uh, the polar high pressure belt okay which also comes under the temperature uh, pressure belts okay now let us see the formation of pressure system Yes, so students, so the equatorial areas, this is the equator and this is your uh, North Pole and the South Pole respectively. Okay, so as we all know that uh, equatorial areas receives the direct rays of the sun, isn't it? As we have learned in the previous video and the polar areas, is it? they receives the slanting rays or the oblique rays of the sun. And uh, we also know the fact that the areas receiving the direct rays of the sun will always result in high temperature. And the area which receiving the slanting of the oblique rays will have low temperature. Okay. And uh, because of the low temperature, okay, here the pressure will be high. And here because of the high temperature, the pressure will be low. Is it? which we have learned in the previous video the inverse relation between the pressure and the temperature okay now the reason behind that also we have studied let us have a short recapitulation here in this video also like the area which receives the low uh, insulation isn't it the molecules of the air which is present in this area okay they are you know densely compact with each other very closely packed with each other which makes the air heavy in this region. Now, the air which is present in the equatorial areas, the high temperature areas, the molecules are present in expanded form. Okay, so it becomes light. So whenever there is, you know, the expanded air, lighter air, it will start rising upward. And the rising upward air will always result in low pressure. And uh, comparing in the higher, uh, you know, the low pressure areas, so low temperature areas, there is a descending air. So the descending air will always result in high pressure. Okay. So because of this reason, the equatorial areas is having a low pressure and the North Pole areas and the South Pole areas, they have the high pressure respectively. Okay, so because of the insulation, the temperature, the equatorial and the polar high pressure belts are formed. Okay, students, now let us understand the uh, pressure dynamic category, okay, due to the rotational movement of the earth. So here the uh, tropical high pressure belt falls under this and uh, next is your uh, subpolar low pressure belt, okay, and... Uh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention students that is the you know the latitudinal location of those uh, pressure belts now equatorial uh, low pressure belt okay uh, it uh, falls under the you know the latitude of 0 to 5 degree north and south latitude polar high pressure belt falls under the uh, latitude of north uh, 90 degree north and south okay 
Tropical high pressure belt lies between 30 to 35 degree north and south latitude and uh, subpolar low pressure belt falls under the uh, lies between 60 to 65 degree north and south latitude okay so right above the equatorial low pressure belt is your tropical high pressure belt and in between the tropical high pressure belt and polar high pressure belt lies the subpolar low pressure belt that is 60 to 65 degree north and south latitude okay uh, students so let us understand the formation of tropical high pressure belt so let me explain you with the you know the with the help of a longitudinal view of the earth uh, so here supposingly the equatorial low pressure belt 5 degree north to 5 degree south and here is the uh, 32 35 degree south that is the tropical high pressure and here also 32 35 degree north uh, tropical high pressure okay so as we have learned the equatorial low pressure belt due to the high amount of temperature here the air becomes uh, you know expand and becomes light and it will start rising upward okay so in the equatorial areas we have a rising air which results in the low pressure isn't it now here what happens to students is whenever there is an rising air in the upward okay now already the air masses is also present in that particular place so it is not a vacuum isn't it the atmosphere is present in that areas also so the rising upward air also needs some space isn't it in order to fill in now what does it do is also due to the rotational movement of the earth also as well as due to the upward movement okay of the air the force of the upward movement also will push or will displace the air masses which are present in that area okay so this air masses will be displaced under the rotation of the earth the Coriolis effect isn't it it will displace to the surrounding areas or to the surrounding latitude and when it reaches the latitude of 30 to 35 degree north and uh, south latitude those air masses will start descending in this particular areas okay in the latitude of 30 to 35 degree north and south latitude okay so it will descend so whenever there is an descending air there is always a formation of high pressure system isn't it so this is formed now this latitude has been formed because of the deflection of the air masses or the displacement of the air masses due to the Coriolis force and due to the upward movement of the uh, air so here results in the high pressure and equator we know there is a low pressure reason understood so in this way the tropical high pressure belt has been formed and uh, students the uh, different names has also been given to those areas like the equatorial is also known as doldrums and uh, uh, this tropical high pressure belt is also termed as horse latitude also okay now why it has been given those names is because in this area there is you no know, the practically uh, absence of uh, horizontal uh, air okay means horizontal air is present but in a very less in amount more amount of vertical movement of the air is present so because of this okay this area is a zone of calm belt okay because of the absence of horizontal air or the horizontal movement of the air okay so in the ancient times it was difficult for the you know the ships to sail in this zone now let us uh, understand the formation of the subpolar low pressure belt so this is your uh, tropical high pressure and this is your polar high pressure so in between this lies the subpolar low pressure belt okay now one thing it is there students we all know that the wind isn't it always blow from high pressure to low pressure which we have learned in the previous video also like the rivers always blow from higher altitude to the lower altitude similarly the winds always blow from high pressure areas to low pressure areas okay so from the tropical high pressure areas the winds will start blowing towards the subpolar region okay in this latitude the still winds will blow and also the winds will also blow okay will also come from the polar high pressure region also so the 
one thing it is their students again the winds which comes from both the areas they will collide in the subpolar region so the winds which are coming from tropical high pressure they are warm winds and the winds which are coming from the polar high pressure they are the cold winds okay now when these warm winds and cold winds will collide with each other now this is also because of the you know the movement of this winds is also one of the factor is where the coriolis force also the rotation movement also they will lead to the formation of the front in between these two winds okay so the warm air being you know lighter it will always rise upward okay so whenever there is an a rising air low pressure is formed in this areas the cold air will descend we have learned isn't it but in this case in this latitude what happens is the cold air which are coming from the polar areas okay now since the space in the polar areas is very small compared to the other areas other uh, you know the space of the other uh, pressure systems so the wind which are coming from the polar areas because of the less space it will expand in these areas so when it expand it will eventually mix with the warm air which is coming from the tropical high pressure belt and they will you know mix with each other and lead to the formation of a rising air okay so both the winds in these areas which are colliding with each other it will lead to the upward movement of the air as a result it will lead to the formation of as a consequent the subpolar low pressure belt is formed okay students okay students so this are the different you know the factors or you know the formation of the low pressure or the high pressure belts globally now we are going to discuss the another topic that is the shifting of the pressure belts okay now those pressure belts are not again fixed or stationary they also shift towards the north and the south okay under the movement apparent movement of the sun now i hope you people remember the apparent movement of the sun isn't it so now let us understand with the help of a small diagram now in the equator we know there is a formation of uh, low pressure belt isn't it now the reason behind the formation is also the direct rays of the sun isn't it so the direct rays of the sun will lead to the formation of low pressure now this is the tropic of cancer now the apparent movement of the sun means the movement of the you know the sun towards the north and towards the south so the sun slowly start moving towards the tropic of cancer so it will not directly jump isn't it so it will pass by the latitude and latitude and finally reach the equal like the tropic of cancer so the low pressure which was forming in the equator now it will form just above the equator where the direct rays of the sun is falling okay now again the sun will move towards the north and it will reach the tropic of cancer so that means the latitude which was experiencing the low pressure earlier now the low pressure will formed over the tropic of cancer isn't it so this shifting of low pressure isn't it it has occurred due to the shifting of the sun towards the tropic of cancer understood so in a similar manner even the other low high pressure low pressure belts which has formed it will also shift towards the north more north that does not mean that the polar high pressure which is there in already in the poles okay it will leave the earth surface and form somewhere in the atmosphere no what happens over here is the area under the polar high pressure belt will squeeze in or it will become much more smaller okay now again the sun is not fixed in the tropic of cancer isn't it the sun will again start shifting towards the south okay now gradually when it starts shifting towards the south again the low pressure formation or the area and where the low pressure was forming that will also shift towards the south with the movement of the sun isn't it so this phenomena is known as the shifting of the pressure belt okay so along with this you know the sun uh, along with the movement of the sun all the pressure belt will also shift towards the south not only the low uh, like you know the equatorial low pressure belt but the other pressure belt will also shift towards the south okay so this phenomena is known as the shifting of pressure belt 